the question, what is your theory about crop circles? I have no theory. The work is in progress. The game is afoot. I will show you what I have found by mathematical analysis. As you know, the current view in the media is that the circles are made by human hoaxes. And in that case, what I am studying is what we would call the intellectual profile of the hoaxer or hoaxers. See, look, those two lines fit that circle. This line here fits that circle. You can draw a nice little box around that circle. You can analyze this, and you get uh, the note G in the second octave for the ratio of this circle to this circle. And then from this sector diagram, you get a ratio of uh, 4. So you've got G in the second octave and C in the second octave. You've got a chord. So you see, the hoaxes are very geometrically minded, and so far they have not deviated from Euclid. When this came, I gave up. <laughs> yes, looks like a Mandelbrot set. Aha, non-Euclidean. But when you do the photogrammetric analysis, it's a cardioid. Now, I'm not saying a Mandelbrot set's a cardioid, but I'm saying the crop circle is. Is that good by Euclid? <coughs> nope. Remarkable thing. The hoaxes have marked these points around the edge. They are at angles of uh, uh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees from the cusp, which is the middle of the heart. Isn't that nice? Euclid can show that if the distance across here is 1, the distance from the cusp to the maximum width is exactly 3 over 2. No decimal points involved. It's G in the key of C. The distance from the cusp to the 30 degree point is 15.01 uh, over 8. It's 15 over 8. The note B in the key of C. So from that crop circle, it's arguable that it's a cardioid, a known geometrical figure, and it's very arguable that Euclidean geometry will give you two diatonic ratios. I'm getting an intellectual profile. This is not just pretty circles. There's mathematics there. There's much more there, but there's mathematics. And, of course, if you don't like the mathematics, don't shoot the mathematician. It's there. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, do we assume that, we are, that people are trying to contact us? Is that just too far-fetched? Close Encounters of the Third Kind, music was, the, as Spielberg put it, the means of communication, the notes. I remember how mathematical I was. I said, I'm not saying the crop circles are musical. I'm saying they follow the same mathematical laws. And your question is, do I think that music would be a good form of communication for an extraterrestrial? Uh, well, of course, you could imagine that what we send out into space. They would hear, have you ever heard the, uh, the programs uh, showing a satellite going around the Earth? You get, this is the BBC, and Deutsche Bella, and WPR. You, you get such a, a mixture of languages. <laughs> but you go over Japan, you go over Germany, you would pick up, bom 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 everywhere, music. And uh, if I were an ET, I would say at first, blush, their language is music. And they have this other thing that we call language, but we don't know what it is. So you could say that music would be very, shall we say, logical to sort of uh, f associate with human beings. I don't think it is music, to tell you the truth. I think it's mathematics. And I think that it's following the same law as diatonic ratios, not to create music. But I think the hoaxers have something else in mind. Let's call them circle makers. May we promote them at this point? I promote them instead at this point. <laughs> yeah.